Hello, Scott Brinkley here with Nexstar. So if you're watching the uh, this, this is the amendment to the Nexstar Comfort Advisor Sales Plan. So that means you've already watched all the other tutorials. Um, so let me just explain. I've had several companies or several members ask me to make a sales plan, uh, you know, which is the tool that's designed to drive your sales. I've had uh, several members say, well, you make one for plumbing. And so I'm in the process of it, but I mean, that's an extremely long process to make it do everything I need it to do. So in the interim, what I decided to do was I had a member just say, well, Scott, uh, I just want to add one plumbing sales guy. And the only lead, he's only going to run one type of lead, basically. And he's going to run nothing but drain leads. Can you make me something for that? And I said, well, I, I tell you what, you're already using the Comfort Advisor sales plan. So let me just make an amendment to that. So what I did was, um, you got four lead sources that we track on company advisors. And I say lead sources, we've got four buckets we put the leads in. One is a marketed lead, one is a turnover lead, tech turnover, one self-generated, and one is an other. This is your Home Depot, your Costco, your you know, JCPenney, your Home Shows, all of those. And so the one that companies don't use most, every company, a majority of them use the top two, uh, but hardly anybody uses the self-generated lead. And the reason that we don't have many self-generated leads is because you're understaffed. And, and so let me explain what it means by that. So there's the amendment, there's two amendments I'm gonna go over today in this video. And one of them is talking about being understaffed and the other is, well, to track another lead source, okay? So if you're understaffed and I'm supposed to have four comfort advisors and yet I only have two, well, that means they're going to have too many leads for them to run. Therefore, I'm never going to get a self-generated lead. I'm never going to be able to hold them accountable to do it because, well, quite frankly, they have no free time because you're understaffed. So this is why I made, a, I made an amendment to fix or help you fix your understaffing problem. But not only that, I made an amendment to add an, another lead source. And so I picked the self-generated because it's hardly ever used. So what you'll do is if you notice it's yellow. If you scroll up top over this blue it says do you want to override the self-generated box C15 yes or no. So let's say we're gonna we're gonna add a um, another lead source and we're just gonna say yes. So here's where it says what type of lead you know are you like what do you want to call it? So let's just call it a drain lead. Okay so now everywhere where the word self-generated was through the entire program has been replaced with the word drain. Okay? Well now we have to, and since I did yes here, it, it eliminated all the math as well. So we have to re-enter here, you know, what we want it to do. So if you look here, enter the number of amount of leads we want to run. So for example, if we want this, say we got one guy and we want him to run two leads a day and there's a 21 budget a day, well, that's 42 leads. I'm gonna go and enter the math in here just so I can see how I came up with that in case I ever need to access it. So 42 leads. The next box is, look, well, what do you want him to close this at? So what's the closure rate? Let's go and give him a 50%. So now that's replaced all the math throughout the program. So, and as always, you have to enter in here, what is your average ticket? What you normally do, I just put $6,000. Okay, so let's go ahead and walk through and look. So now, if we go to the individual tab, if you notice the self-generated has been replaced with drains, so now it's tracking your drain calls. So in the event if you got more than one guy, you can compare them, you know, to an other people running drain calls. Or if you have a comfort advisor, and the comfort advisor, they run tech leads that come from HVAC, they run market leads. Well, let's say they also decide that they're gonna run I don't know, say you run tankless leads. So you can actually come back here and says, you know what, we want this to be a tankless instead of drains. And so now it's tankless throughout the program. So now we have tankless here. And if you go to, let's just go to a summary of a day. Let's go to day one. If you notice, it says tankless across the board now. Okay? So self-generated, replaced with tankless. All right, so that's the way that you can change this one box I've made it customizable for you. Alright, well the other part of this amendment is let's go back and let's just mark this as it was a strictly 100% comfort advisor shop. 
Okay, so now it's all changed back to a company advisor shop. So I, I mentioned, you know, just a minute ago that companies fail due to staffing. So, you know, I always, when I do the business planning workshop with members, and when I come up with the budget, you know, we agree, once we go through, we pick the budget apart, I mean, every way you can imagine. I pick it apart with percentages, I pick it apart with dollars to make sure it all makes sense. Then once it makes sense, I look at them and say, you have a good budget. The only reason you will fail with this budget is this, if you're not staffed accordingly. So when I built the company advisor sales plan here, I automatically have on every day, it tells you how much staffing you need to do this. So in this company, they need 4.99 minimum crews and five company advisors to do this, okay? And then the same thing if you see, you already know this because you watched the other videos, but if you got selling text as well, you'd enter some in here, it's going to tell you in the combination of if you had, for example, I got two selling tech, two company advisors now. What's well, going to tell me, look, I need 4.68 crews to do this. I need a total of 5.63 selling tech slash company advisors. So it puts this staffing on every single page because I don't want you to miss that, right? Uh, because again, if you've got a great budget and you fall behind in either one of these, you're not going to hit it. It doesn't matter. If you sell it and you can't put it in, you failed. If you got people to put it in, you can't sell it, you failed. So let's go back. I'm going to show you the reason I made these next changes is this is a this is a true company's numbers here. So they got 924 calls they're going to run in January of next year. I just finished their budget and sent it to them. They got 924 calls they're going to run. They are averaging above on their call board, they're averaging above 33% of their calls are opportunities of turnovers. They are averaging 77 market leads. Now, I will tell you this. This shop did really not know what a turnover was. I mean, they dabbled in it, but they really did not know how to turn the volume up. So now that they're ready to turn the volume up, this shop does about $400,000 a month in installs. And let me go ahead and tell you, 350 of that is is off the market leads so or at least 300 is off the market leads so now that we're going to turn the volume up on the turnovers well watch what happens i enter in their true calls and all their true numbers into the sales plan and it now tells me that they can do can do 825,000 in sales so if you notice, they're going to go, this tells them that they can go from roughly 400,000 and change to 824,000. So obviously, they don't have enough crews to do that. Matter of fact, they don't have enough salespeople because they've been only staffing to run and staffing to install their 300 grand that they've been putting in. And the, and I, the good news is they did overstaff their installers to install that 300 grand meaning that they had uh, four crews and the four crews were doing about I don't know 50 percent capacity so they weren't getting their hours you know I say that they'll get their hours they're just not getting the revenue put in so what happens is is you have to go to a minimum here of five point install 5.3 crews to put this in and you also need to be at 5.27 comfort advisors so they got three salespeople and they got four crews. So if I was to roll this plan out with their current staffing and, and their sales lead coordinator went for this number, they're going to fail every day. When I say fail, they're not going to have the people they need to run these leads on a daily basis. I mean, they might get lucky and be able to run the 10 leads one day or two days, but they're not going to average it for the 21 work days for the month. So what I've done is, until they can get their staffing up, right? I put an adjustment in here, I mean a technician override. So the way this works is they're gonna run 924 calls. They're gonna book or they're gonna identify the opportunities of, so of the 924, they're gonna identify at least 33% of those as the opportunity to replace. Their technicians are now gonna go out and, and they're going to turn over 60% of those opportunities into a lead. That's the way this whole program is built. 
Well, the problem is if they drive 60% leads, they're not going to have the people to run the leads. So I still want them to coach that and to drive toward the 60%, right, for the, uh, for the technicians. But what I don't want to do is demotiv demotivate the sales lead coordinator because now she's trying to reach 10 leads a day and she's going to be understaffed and not be able to run 10 leads a day. So no, no matter how good the, the techs perform, they're not going to have enough people to run the leads. So I'll put a technician override in here. What this does is, look, it says this will override the technician. Let me scroll over so you can see it all. It says this will override the technician turnover rate on opportunities based on the understaffing of installers and or comfort advisors. Okay, so simple terms. What I want you to do is you go to tab one or first page, first day of the month. It says you need, look here, you need 5.3 crews to install it. This company only has four crews. So I'm going to, even though that we could sell this much if we had another salesperson, we, we can install it if we had, meaning the calls are there, the, the leads and the sales are there. The problem is they don't have the people to sell it or install it. So I'm going to dial it back. So I'm going to go up here. This number is based on 60% is what we're going to achieve in the sales plan. So I'm going to dial this back and say of, of all the tech leads, or tech opportunities or opportunities that could be turned over so if you got a hundred calls on on the schedule and 33 of them are 10 years and older right well there should turn 60 60 60 percent of those into a lead or somewhere in 18 of the 33 well, I'm gonna dial this back and I'm gonna dial it back to 45 percent by doing that, what it's going to do is it's going to change my overall sales. It's going to change my overall staffing. So you see, I still don't have enough people to install this or to sell it. So I'm just going to dial it back a little more and we'll put 35%. Okay, so this gets me really close to our number. I'm going to turn it up just a hair and put 38. And this is going to put me where, all right, I need basically four crews to install this work. So now, this company is going from about three hundred and fifty to four hundred and thousand dollars a month, and now we've built a plan to do six hundred and thirteen thousand. Okay, so now they've got enough comfort advisors or close to it that they can they can run that consistently. They now have enough crews to do it. So now what I would tell them though is as they work the plan this month. They're still going to speak to their technicians and speak to them about turning over 60%. And that's the KPI that they're going to coach is the 60%. But what they need to do before before uh, February gets here is they need to hire them another crew and hire them another comfort advisor. Therefore, we don't have to override the program next month. And they'll be able to reap the benefits of that extra few hundred thousand dollars next month. So I hope you enjoyed it. That's what the amendment was for, uh, both amendments. And uh, always until next time, see you then.